What's up, family? How you doing? It's your boy Dave Wilkins with God Steps. One step at a time, one verse at a time. Plunging into the Bible and seeing what he's got to say for us. Not going to take too much time because I know you guys are watching football and you are praising his name because it's the Sabbath. You probably went to church, right? If you did, you can check out YouTube right now. Check out pretty much every church website right now. Streams and replays their sermons. So get a good word into you before you start in the week and, and uh, you know get challenged with temptation. Matter of fact, this is what it's all about this week or today. Hebrews 4, 15. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to empathize with our weaknesses. We have one who has been tempted in every way, just as we are, yet he did not sin. Yet he did not sin. Yet he did not sin. Come on, y'all. Fellas out there, like a Beyonce walks past us. Which one of us don't go chase after or try to get a Beyonce in our life? Now, ladies, Morris Chestnut comes in and he's like, hey, I like your style. I want to take you home and wine and dine you. Come on now. Now, your friend goes behind your back, stabs you in the back, does something to you, and you don't retaliate. Somebody at work calls you this and says that, and you take the blame. You don't retaliate or, or get mad or do something crazy. Guys, he did not sin. He's faced everything that we do in this world, and he did not sin. The ultimate price lived as a human being, okay, died on a cross, rose again, so that we could have a relationship with him and have a chance to get to heaven, but then again, get forgiveness. When we do screw up, it, we're not supposed to screw up, but he almost knows we're gonna commit sin. And when we do, we come to him and genuinely say, look, I'm gonna try my hardest. I'm gonna not sin anymore. And he forgives us. Look at the grace. Y'all, we are, it's, it's such a blessing and, and such an admiration uh, for the positioning of it all. Okay, he did not sin, okay? So let's just pay reverence to that. Make sure that you guys are aware of that when you are tempted with something. You know what? The devil don't play and he knows how unique we are. He knows how to pull our strings individually. So somebody might be tempted by a whole bunch of donuts. Other person might be tempted by a whole bunch of porn. Other person might be, you know, tempted by a whole bunch of sports content. Whatever it is, for you, for me, the devil knows how to get to us. So it's our job to stay in tune with God and the Holy Spirit to listen to that, that conscience and say, you know what, don't do that. It's not good for you. Too often we, look at, we listen to the devil on our show and say, oh, it's all right. Just go ahead and bite half that donut. You're going to be all right. You're only supposed to be eating salad, but eat half that donut. You're going to be all right. Don't listen to it. Listen to the Holy Spirit, y'all. All right, so this is God Steps. This is Dave Wilkins. Another version for you, but wait till next time. It's going to get better and better and better. All right, y'all. God bless.